guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back on seven days to die so <clears throat> uh, i haven't been able to play this for like a week mainly because uh, i've been really busy and not been able to do a bunch of stuff i've been sick it was my birthday last week and just all sorts of stuff uh ooh, medicine what do we got splint and painkillers i have no more in my inventory though so we'll leave it there for now um so i haven't had a lot of time to do game stuff and video stuff as you may have noticed so uh, and when i did have time i was playing arc and i've been playing a little bit of battlefield one Let's see is this the back door okay we got a back door I'm trying to remember even what i was doing back door this is the front door then i have a poorly placed front door next to it right yep okay let's look around any zombies around no okay so i believe last we needed some get some more wood yeah um, oh, by the way, I'm terrible at first-person shooter games, uh, but if you guys are interested in me doing a, a whatchamacallit, a Battlefield 1 video, go ahead and let me know. Can I store stuff in here? Let's try it. And now when I access it again, is it still there? Interesting. So let's go ahead and store everything. Is there like a... Yeah, there we go. Shift, double-click. All right, let's go ahead and put just absolutely everything in here. Okay, maybe I should take the arrows out. Plant fibers. Yeah, okay, so now we have all sorts of room in our inventory. I think what we want to do is go get some more wood and start doing some building, because I guess zombies are going to come in not too long, and we got to be prepared. We also need more arrows. We need all sorts of stuff. We are not even, like, remotely anywhere close to being prepared. All right, we are almost done demolishing this entire tree so that we can get as much wood as possible. And we should have an absolute ton by now. Um, I'm not sure how the health works. Do I get 900 wood from a tree with 900 health? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like it works quite that way. Oh, these repairs are missing parts. Can I beat it with a club? I'm not getting any wood from it, though. Dang it, I really wanted to break the tree. Uh, okay, so how much wood did we get from that? 364, so it's not... Not a terrible amount, but nothing too crazy. We have some feathers, so let's go ahead and hop back inside our little house and uh, see what we can make. We definitely need to look at some weapon options, and we need to look at uh, some building options. So let's look at crafting. Let's go ammo and weapons. So barbed club is the next club up. Uh, they not really interested. So we need to make a... A primitive muzzle loader can be crafted from mainly forged irons. We need forged iron, so that means we're probably gonna need to make some kind of forged, I'm guessing. Uh, forge, forge, forge. Okay, wielding resources. Bellows. Bellows made with wood, animal hide, and pipes are needed for a forge. Okay. So one thing I'm not a big fan of this game is not only does everything feel kind of clunky, but there's really no direction at all after I aside from those first like three quests or whatever that it gave me so we're kind of just looking around okay building let's look at forge okay so your forge you need one bellows and we need a pipe so let's go ahead and get I think we had a pipe in here we have four short iron pipes uh, what else do might we need maybe we need a wrench lead Fibers, hide, paper. And I gotta see what stuff we can kind of break down. An iron. Okay, also I'm super thirsty for some reason. Can I eat? Uh, this is just food. Ah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so let's look at now crafting. Uh, so we need a bellows. Why is there two of them? One acquires animal hide, one acquires leather. And it eats 20, we don't have anything close to that. So first we gotta go kill some, ourselves some animals. Let's make some arrows. Iron arrow? No, just regular arrow is fine. So we need to go get some small stones. All right, so let's go ahead and get some small stones. All right, there are zombies all over the place. <clears throat> We've got some stone and we're overheating. There, I went over to the water and tried to fill my jar and it wouldn't let me. I don't know how to do it. I'll have to figure that out. Um, I, find, I figure most of the stuff out with you guys here on screen. Uh, so I don't really spend a lot of time outside of filming trying to figure stuff out. So you get to see me really struggle through all the uh, stuff. I've been finding all these cotton plants, which is cool, and some other flowers. 
Maybe that'll help me make some better clothes or something. Um, so far, I'm really liking the location we're in. Oh, I'm hunted. What am I hunted by? And I'm having heat stroke. Okay, I, need to, I need to get in the house. It's just what needs to happen. What am I being hunted by? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's get in the house um, and then deal with it then. Okay. Clothes. I feel like I'm overburdened. What was that sound? That was weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some, uh... Oh. Okay, undetected. <laughs> let's make some arrows first. Uh-oh. What? Go away. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, no, 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 okay. Okay, arrows, 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 arrows. Craft. Oh my gosh, that sound. 41. Uh, nope, this. Dobby, don't, don't try to break my house. Go away. Oh, shoot. Ah. The house is compromised. Ah. That's the same door. I can't spread. Run. Okay. Just stay in there. Okay, they have trouble coming through the door at least. Stop breaking my house! Stop breaking my house! <laughs> oh, oh, there's more! Oh, they're everywhere! Run, run, run. Why do I run so slow? <laughs> All right, all right, we're gonna take them out one by one. How many arrows do we have? 32? Not even remotely close to being enough. Okay, the only option then is to lead them away. Oh, and it's becoming nighttime, fantastic. Okay, so we gotta lead them away, just run away, lead them away, get back to our house and try to fix it. Man, I gotta say, I'm terrible at this game. Okay, I don't know if zombies can swim, but this is becoming terrible, so I'm gonna go in this water and just kind of hope for the best. Am I on top of the water? So, so I've got my jar and I'm clicking, I'm right clicking, I'm eating, nothing, okay. Let's just kind of hang out here. This is our new home. Let's see if this guy will come in the water. I've got so many zombies in my house, I don't even know what to do. This game is so difficult or I'm just terrible at it. Okay, so I have discovered that zombies sink. Look, there's one right there. And he can't attack me, and I'm not losing stamina. Um, I might die from hunger or thirst or something, but I could hide here forever if needed. So that's a good thing to have nearby. Um, is he still following me? Oh, see, that was the problem, though, is how the heck do I get out of the water without dying? This is just my home now. I live here, in the water, floating for the rest of my life. All right, guys, so I made it out of the water, got back to my house, killed maybe one or two of the zombies and just got absolutely destroyed. Um, so I think I made a lot of mistakes, spawn near my bed so I don't die again right away. I think I made a lot of mistakes starting out. I had never played this game and knew nothing about it. And I feel like I'm definitely starting to learn a bit more now. Um, I think I might wanna change the spawn rates of the zombies a little lower for since I'm just doing solo uh, single player right now. Uh, but you know, I think I want to try it again. Maybe we'll start kind of a season two, I guess, and just kind of start a new game for the next video. Um, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Um, I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, um, but I'm still figuring things out. Um, but if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on your social medias, your Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, the whole deal. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash X. Anyways, guys... Uh, for today, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, and I will see you again next time. I expected me to die much faster than this. <laughs>